It's time now for your morning edition of news for January 17, 2024. I'm DeAndre Hamilton. We've got the news that matters most. There is always a savings and a smile in every aisle at Sunny Foods. With locations near you, you can shop wholesale or retail for groceries and other essentials for your home or your business. Visit Sunny Foods in Five Keys. Sunny Foods now with the Blue Hills Roundabout. Sunny Foods in Grand Turk has two locations in West Road and Back Salina. Sunny says no one beats his prices. No one. After a period of hiatus, Crime Stoppers TCI has a new board of directors. In the position of president is Lewis Smith, a longtime security officer. Vice president is hotelier Clayton Thomas, expected to contribute via his experience and leadership. Businessman Peter Stingle as treasurer, Cheryl Ann Foreman as general secretary, and Takara Bain as strategic communications lead round out the rest of the team. The organization says with the new board of directors comes a renewed focus focus on providing confidential and trustworthy access to individuals with crime-related information. The way that draft policies are created in the Turks and Caicos will change soon with the advent of the review and improvement of the Strategic Planning and Policy Department. The three-month project is an attempt to standardize how all government departments draft the policies that dictate life in the Turks and Caicos. Policies are the backbone of government operation, a statement offered. They guide all public sector bodies, government agencies, statutory bodies on their roles and responsibilities, setting out what rules they enforce and how they interact with the public. Policies, as you know, also impose restrictions and benefits. The consultation is announced for a start this month. The Turks and Caicos is one of five British overseas territories which have been chosen to participate in a nutrition study carried out by the UK-based Newcastle University. Along with Cayman, whose government made the announcement, the Falkland Islands, Gibraltar and Bermuda, TCI residents will be asked to recall their three daily meals for three days via a survey. Residents between 14 and 49 years old can participate. The survey hopes to help figure out what residents are eating to help guide policymakers and public health decisions. Magnetic Media is your news leader. Beaches is hosting a job fair on Thursday, January 25th from 8.30 a.m. and you are invited to build a career in hospitality. Looking for concierge manager, boat captains, scuba instructors, concierge agents, wedding planner, stewards, laundry attendant, social media coordinator, VIP driver, dining room servers, security officers, room technicians, plus so many more opportunities. Bring your updated resume, local status document, passport or birth certificate, and remember you got benefits like health care, education and training, and staff transportation. Beaches, hiring smiles with a job fair on January 25th. <laughs> Legal aid was vacated in the case of Sidero Smith by sitting Judge Chief Justice Mabel Ajimang because she learned Smith was paying a private attorney to represent him in his matter before the courts. While the public prosecutor appeared ready to proceed, there was confusion about whether Sidero Smith was to be represented by legal aid counsel or paid counsel. Though absent on the day of the hearing, attorney Lara Maruf Mizik was confirmed by the defendant as his paid lawyer adding that he accepted the discontinuation of legal aid. The sufficiency hearing is now deferred to February. It's been a week since black clouds of smoke choked the Wheeland community as the dump burned again. The flames have been cooled now and an announcement is coming shortly for frustrated residents. That's the word from Kyle Knowles, Wheeland elected member of parliament and the government's point person for solid waste management in the Turks and Caicos. Expect updates this week, the MP told Magnetic Media during a brief interview on Tuesday. While Knowles did not confirm what is coming, anxiously awaited by residents is information on the contractors who have been hired for the private takeover of the day-to-day running of the dump. The dump, a.k.a. the Providenciales landfill, is a sore spot for residents after years of fires and suspect air quality. The shared hope is that the CDB's consultants and the new management company will be able to end what has been described as a consistent health hazard. 
The government dentist will be visiting the island of South Caicos on Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. All individuals requiring dental treatment should visit the South Caicos Primary Health Care Clinic during normal working hours. The clinic opens at 1030 a.m. In your weather today, a few clouds from time to time, the high at 81 degrees tonight, partly cloudy, the low at 76. Rain chance for the TCI remains low at 10%. I'm DeAndre Hamilton. Thank you for joining us in the morning edition of News. We're back at midday. Don't forget to subscribe at our YouTube channel, MMTV Caribbean.